Happy Easter, y'all. Hello, thanks for clicking on the video and turning, tuning in, <laughs> turning in, whatever. Turning in is for like to go to sleep. Anyway, ignorance doesn't bother me. I digress a little bit, uh, which is normal for me. In my experience, that's where conversations break down. Uh, I'm Tizit here, and I do have to apologize. You could probably tell by the title already. This is not uh, Testimony Episode 1, because the first episode was baseline. Um, it's just taking me a little bit longer to edit the video than I initially thought it was going to. So episodes for my testimony are probably going to come out every two weeks. But I'm going to try and put out another smaller, shorter video just about random things that I think of. Um, this one is what I believe is, is the difference between stupidity and ignorance. And they are different. And just my, my take on that, because I'm probably going to mention it throughout my, my testimony. First up is ignorance. Ignorance is not knowing something. And in order to eliminate ignorance, you have to be willing to admit, I don't know something. For example, I know how a car engine works, but I have no idea how to fix it if it goes wrong. Like if there's a problem with my car and it won't turn on, does it have gas? Does it have oil? Does it have a charge in the battery? Those are the couple of things, like that's it. Like if, if it's not that, then I don't know what it is. Is it in park? Because that's the thing. If it's not in park, it won't turn over. That kind of thing. But anything beyond that, I don't know. And I'm not typically going to research that kind of thing to enlighten my ignorance on it because there's people for that and I don't have the, the means, or I, I would not have the means to be able to fix my car myself if it's outside of those issues. Ignorance is not knowing something. Stupidity is refusing to enlighten yourself. So I guess you could take me choosing to remain ignorant about how to fix cars as stupidity in that context, but I'm typically an open person that wants to, to learn different viewpoints and to help get an understanding on where whoever I'm talking to is coming from so that we can have a conversation about that so we can see each other's viewpoints. Um, earlier this week, I did have a conversation about the coronavirus because that's the thing to have a conversation about uh, in 2021. I personally believe, since my faith is rooted in Christ and in the supernatural realm, that the coronavirus has no power over me other than maybe getting me sick like the flu. Now, am I going to go above and beyond to protect myself from it? Only if I have to. Like, I, I don't like wearing a mask, but I, I do need a job so I can support my life that I want to live. So my job requires me to wear a mask, so I'm going to wear a mask. If I'm walking into a Target or a Walmart or some other company that is, says you need to wear a mask, like AMC, that's the one I went to go see, Godzilla vs. Kong uh, at a movie theater. They require a mask. So I had to wear a mask in order to partake of their service that they were providing me. And their service was entertainment. I digress a little bit, uh, which is normal for me. What really irritates me is not the fact that there are ignorant people, because ignorance is bliss. Ignorance doesn't bother me. It's the refusal to enlighten one's ignorance. That's what bothers me, um, also known as stupidity or stupid. To me, that's the distinguishing factor, is the refusal to accept new knowledge or accept someone's stance or to consider that. In my experience, that's where conversations break down, is when you're on a touchy subject and they don't necessarily feel like they're being attacked, but you're trying to provide them a different viewpoint and they get offended by that or triggered because of that. Oh my gosh, that meme in my head is hilarious. It's going to be posted here for sure. Triggered response of like, of um, hate, anger, like you being called a racist for having a different viewpoint than them, which that's always a fun one. Um, and I try to get them to prove it if that's happened, but it hasn't happened yet. But it, that's the thing about an overthinker. I think about those kind of situations all the time. Like, I really hope I have a conversation about this. And then if, like, just to keep... Battle of wits, if you will. 
um, and it's to keep my mind sharp, and which that was a conversation I had earlier this week. We had different viewpoints. I had a very strong stance about where I'm coming from. No need to treat the coronavirus any differently than you would the flu as as far as um, preventative measures for me. What I choose to do is I'm okay with not wearing a mask. I wash my hands often. I cover my sneeze and my cough and my elbow whenever it happens. Uh, the only exception to that is if I'm in my room like I am now and I'm like playing a game or something and I can't move my hands from the keyboard and I'm like trying or it sneaks up on me real quick. But there's nobody else here. I'm by myself with my dog. So there's there's that. And I know I digress a little bit. I didn't really have a plan other than to say I'm sorry that this isn't episode one of uh, my, my testimony, but you can expect that next week, uh, next Sunday. And also, I forgot to say, Happy Easter, y'all! Christ is risen! Woof, woof! Um, and then, I'll probably be... Like, I know I'm going to be talking about my tattoos later through my, my testimony, but the next video, unless something else comes up that irks my chain, I'm probably going to just be talking about my tattoos. Currently, I have four of them, and they all have stories, and I did overthink all of them. So, <laughs> there is that. Um, there's actually probably just one that I didn't overthink now that I think about it, but we'll get, <laughs> we'll get to that when we do. And, uh, in the meantime, take care. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video if you want to keep watching. And if not, then, uh, glad you stopped by for this brief moment. Catch y'all later.